Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include 6 million jobs lost in the EU since 2008. EU competition chief stays in touch with Google via text messages. European Union demands cuts after Portuguese court rules bailouts unconstitutional. In your letters, don't be sorry to be a nitpicker. Plus, German MEP Jürgen Kreutzmann's parliamentary immunity could be in jeopardy. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First up from our homepage. In a report on the European labour market, the UN agency said the employment rate across the 27-nation EU stood at 57.6% in 2012. Wikipedia data on the Great Depression of the 1930s reports personal income, tax revenue, profits and prices dropped, while international trade plunged by more than 50%, unemployment in the US rose to 25% and in some countries rose as high as 33%. Now, what this UN report is saying in a backwards way is that unemployment in the EU is at 42.4%. The article goes on to say, Young and unskilled workers have been the hardest hit, with youth unemployment across the EU at 23.5% and stark rates of 58% in Greece and 55% in Spain. It really doesn't look as though the EU's policy of bailouts and austerity has worked. In fact, quite the opposite. Last week I reported on the privacy situation with Google and the EU, and that story has now developed further. Google is on the verge of submitting proposed changes to its business practices to avoid sanctions over allegations it abuses its dominant position in the EU search market. Meanwhile, the EU's competition commissioner has revealed that he regularly, and perhaps surprisingly, has text message conversations with Google's chairman, Eric Schmidt. These guys are so behind the times. Surely it should be hoodies, hats, video conferencing in a hangout on Google+. <laughs> Sheesh, that's what we do. Euro Troika kleptocrats are going all fat Sam as the Portuguese courts do a Bugsy Malone and tell their banks to posse to get stuffed. Portuguese and European officials are demanding renewed social cuts amid crisis unleashed by a ruling of Portugal's constitutional court declaring European Union's mandated budget cuts unconstitutional. The article goes on to say, these cuts were central to the government's 78 billion euro loan agreement with the Troika. <laughs> Break out the cream pie machine guns, Tallulah, because I predict a riot. Ah, excellent. Today I get to return to your letters. Edward writes in response to my nightly news of April 15th. Foreign Office Document Ref 30-1048 was written in 1971, long before Mrs Thatcher was leader of the Conservative Party. It was there when she became leader and when she came into government. It is doubtful whether she was aware of it. The Foreign Office is very sly in such matters. I doubt whether it was circulated widely even in government circles of the day. If it had been, it might very well have been leaked out, and that would never have done. Well, you could very well be correct, Edward, as to obtain copies of Foreign and Commonwealth Office Document 1048, we had to use the Freedom of Information Act. Your letter may well absolve Lady Thatcher, and certainly I have no intent of making a posthumous accusation, but your letter troubles me even more deeply. If what you write is correct, then this highlights an internal conspiracy, and one that I and other members of our team already suspect. Thanks for taking the time to write to us, Edward, and please do keep your letters coming, as all and any pieces of information are useful in our investigations. Aha! Yes, that's two aha moments in the same day. You will know if you look at our series Brave New Europe that we highlighted the fact that members of the European Parliament get legal immunity from prosecution. Now when I tell this to most folks, they think I must be making it up. Well, I'm not. 
Here is the evidence in the pipeline of our legislation section. German MEP Jürgen Kreutzmann is alleged to have failed to give way to another vehicle at a junction. This resulted in a collision and the passenger of the other vehicle was seriously injured. This report is a request from the German authorities to have Mr Kreutzmann's legal immunity waived so that he can be prosecuted. Today in our video library, as yesterday we saw Guy Verhofstadt getting highly animated as he tried to materialise the Euro exit boogeyman with his EU voodoo incantation. Let's take a view from the side of the Eurosceptic, as Nigel Farage exposes the dastardly deeds undertaken by the EU Troika as they fiscally fleece the people of Cyprus, locking the doors to the banks and running rampant on a piggy bank smash and grab of the poor Cypriot savers. Naught but common criminals, said Mr Farage. I'm Rick Timmis, and this is the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the words section of our website. Join us in our live question time style online show, The Unit Interactive, broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google+, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, the unit on Google+, links to the community page are below. <laughs>